Welcome to the House of Keto. In this video, we'll show you the keto fight version of the Malaysian favorite, the Ota Ota Mua. you need banana leaf that is washed, boiled and dried. Toothpick is secure. For the ingredients to blend, we need 10 shallots, 5 garlic cloves, 3 fresh red chilies, 1 cup of dried red chilies that has been boiled and washed, 1 tongue of fresh turmeric, 1 tongue of fresh galangal, 1 tongue of fresh ginger or lemongrass, 1 cup of santan or coconut milk, 3 tablespoons of meat curry powder, 4 tablespoons of mung fruit sweetener, sea salt to taste, 1 whole mackerel fish that has been deboned. Now to start the uh, process of making the ota ota, all we need to do is blend together the red chilies, the dried chilies, shallot, garlic, lemongrass, ginger, galangal, turmeric, with some water to make it into a smooth, smooth paste. To fry the uh, paste, I'm using the Harvest Red Cooking Palm Oil. Heat up a wok, put in the oil and also put in the uh, paste that we have uh, blended just now and cook it or fry it until the chilies are cooked. Now this process will take a while as we need the chilies to cook right until the oil separates from the paste. Now to prepare the banana leaf, wash and cut the banana leaf into a 9 by 4 inch size. You can uh, cut it into the size, then you boil it in hot water to soften the uh, leaves. Or you blanch it in hot water to soften the leaves, then wipe the leaves dry, keep it aside. Please ensure that you keep on stirring the uh, paste in the wok so as not to burn the uh, paste. Now as it's uh, cooking, we can actually uh, add in the curry powder, the meat curry powder, bit by bit as you are stirring to, to make sure that it's incorporated into the paste. I can add in more cooking oil if the paste is too dry. Now add in the lakanto and sea salt to taste and will advise to do it slightly sweeter and saltier as when you add into the fish meat it will balance out the taste. Now fry until the paste is cooked and you can see the oil has separated from the paste. Once this is done, 
remove it from the heat and cool it down before we actually uh, blend the uh, spices or the paste together with the fish meat. Now in a uh, fruit processor or a blender, put in the uh, bone fish meat which I'm using is a mackerel and the cooked spice paste and we will blend this into a smooth paste balance the uh, paste out with the uh, bit of water and also the one cup of coconut milk or sampan you can add a little bit of water to help the mixture mix into a paste now this is where you could actually add the sun pan or the coconut meal together with the water. Now add in bit by bit until the paste becomes a, a very smooth paste and you can sprinkle in the half teaspoon of xanthan gum to help you with the uh, holding the fish meat together. Now continue blending if it's too dry, keep on adding the little bit of water and sun pan. Mix it into a very nice and smooth paste, not too watery and not too dry. Now to make the Ota Ota package, all you need to do is put about 1 to 2 tablespoons of the Ota Ota paste into on the banana leaf and fold the banana leaf like a package and seal it at the end with the toothpicks. To bake the Ota Ota, we will leave it in the uh, oven, at the preheated oven at 230 to 250 for 10 to 15 minutes or until the uh, fish is cooked. And you can also use aluminium mini trays or any other oven friendly trays to bake the Ota Ota. Beside baking, you can also steam the Ota Ota. for 15 minutes or until it is cooked on medium-high heat. Now, Ota Ota can be kept in the fridge or frozen and reheated to enjoy. We hope you like our Ota Ota recipes. See you in the next video. Enjoy!